So hey, what's up YouTube? Doing this video for uh, Viking Saddlebags, a review on their bags. Um, this is my 2015 Street Bob. I've done a few modifications to it. Um, <clears throat> so first of all, these are the, I forgot how to pronounce them, Laminar Saddlebags. These are the, the biggest ones that you could get, I guess. And these are the leather wrapped ones. Um, I went with the leather wrap just because I have the flat black and it kind of matches the bike already. I didn't have to paint it. But um, I'm very impressed with the quality of these bags. They're really amazing as far as quality goes. Um, it definitely exceeded my every expectation that I had. Um, I've even laid down my bike on this side. And you can see there's some uh, little in indentation there and there and the bags actually support the whole weight of the, the motorcycle I was a little tipsy one day I shouldn't have been I shouldn't have been driving which I didn't drive I just uh, I decided to not drive after that but anyways this is what's inside um, you got a liner inside the bags which is really really nice touch it just it gives it that extra premium look um, you could fit so much stuff in here this is my daily driver so I needed something to carry, you know, my jacket, my gear, you know, depending on the way the weather change. I live in Southern California, so morning's really cold, and the afternoons it's really hot. And um, yeah, I like them a lot. This is uh, what it looks like with the shock cut out, cut out. That's a quick release bracket here that I got through the website as well. Uh, the only thing I wasn't happy about was the <clears throat> relocation of the license plate um, you know the license plate comes out here in the back but it doesn't leave too much room in between the saddlebags and the motorcycle for the tail lights so what I had to do was go to Home Depot and buy a strip of steel this is galvanized steel and I painted it black and I just drilled holes in it and mounted the, the tail lights a little bit further back that's my only complaint with that. Um, I don't, I don't think uh, Viking Saddlebag makes that. I think that's like a they sell them for for another company. It, it seems like, but other than that, I'm really happy with the saddlebags. They really help out a lot. Um, I took a trip to Canada on this motorcycle, and I really wish I would have had those saddlebags at the time. It would have helped out a lot. So I did over 4,200 miles and. They would have really helped me out a lot. So, it looked good. Let me show you some different angles here. That's what they look like. <laughs> 